Hey guys, Afmao here and welcome to Life is Strange because sometimes life can get pretty strange. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the game itself. Now, first off, this is an episodic series. So today I'm going to be playing episode one and I'm very interested in this game because I was not expecting to play this myself. I had received a copy and I just kind of decided to dive right on into it. I did a little bit of research beforehand. So from what I understand, this game has a pretty cool time mechanic that incorporates into the story itself. And we're gonna find out how that's done. So without further ado, I present to you guys Life is Strange. So let's go ahead and wait, wait on the storing system and begin a new game. I like the little ambient calm feel that it's got right now. Life is Strange is a story based uh, is a story based game that features a player's choice and the consequences of all your game's actions will impact the past, present, and future. So choose wisely. No pressure. At all. I <laughs> I make terrible choices. Let's just put that out there right now. I make very terrible choices. And where did the calm ambient feel go? Her hair is so perfect. I'm sorry. What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. You can make it there. I got your back. Now let's face it, it's not a Square Enix game if all the characters' hairs, hair is not perfect in every single scene. Regardless if they're swimming underwater or getting drenched in rain. It's just, that was the first thing I noticed. You can tell it's a Square Enix game. Come on. Perfect hair graphics, spot on. Oh, that's a tornado. These parts move the camera. Alright, I got you. Alright, so... Tornado there. Just ignore it. Um, is there anything I can pick up? Just ignore the tornado for now. And I don't think it's a safe bet to go into a lighthouse with a tornado moving nearby. Holy shit! So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm sorry. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. What? Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <clears throat> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Um, because look. of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You totally, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I feel, feel like totally, totally haunted, haunted by, by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Oh, I thought I was feeling sad about those mothers. She saw children. humanity as tortured, right? Um, and all right, frankly, it's so bullshit. Look, photo, shh, shh, shh. journal. Keep that to it's yourself. Ooh. I can't Seriously, believe I still have this I pencil case. One of you in a I should upgrade to the 21st century. century. Okay. But I like it old school. And any one of you could do that to me. Um, so we were just analyzing our stuff. I haven't Isn't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Yeah, who does, sweetheart? What if Arbus chose to capture people with- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh, there's stuff- Oh, am I gonna read all this? Let's see. There's one out of eight. Do I have- Am I gonna read all this? I got accepted into Blackwell Academy! I got- I'm just gonna read the big words. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy! No kids allowed! I am going to Blackwell Academy. Um, let's see. 
I guess I could read it really quick. I got accepted into Backwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been to one, but who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. A unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I used to live in the same town. But when I saw the next text from Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speeding up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. And it took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. And they were so weird, but we were happy and that means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means a new clothes if I can work at a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps, I'm going up! <laughs> I like how I could have just... Let's see, so this is leaving to Seattle and going to Arcadia Bay. Usually people going to high school closes home. I'm so blah, 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 blah. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. But Seattle wasn't... Okay, so she's in Seattle right now. Um... I, want, I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her when we would play pirates in our rooms the in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was a fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure, and Pax is also there, that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. En contraire... Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under Mark Jefferson himself. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers here. Plus, there will be a cool, diverse student. I like how I'm reading it, and the deer has, like, a little monocle. From everywhere, it won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm so bad with the boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and dad aren't getting a little too excited that I'm cleaning out my room. Though I caught my mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl that I am and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new max wardrobe over my senior, over my junior year, sorry. Not that I even have an old max wardrobe. Nobody will ever accept, well, nobody will know me except for Clo and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe a date to a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. And there will be many super cool changes to my photography to get exposed. That's a photography joke because exposure to photographs back in the day. Anyway, thinking about that is when I get scared but excited and I don't feel like crying at all like the little girl. I get tingles down my arm sensing the universe opening up for me and I can't wait to live. But I just want things to be different at Blackwell because I'm going there. My first entry from my new dorm room ran next night before my first day at Blackwell. Woo! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos, and I did a meet of my dorm mates, so, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't even bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool and who's not. It's a bitch trying to settle into a new school and social scene after I finally got good friends in Seattle. But now I'm here, and the start of my new life, sweet dreams. September 3rd, 2013. This is taking in place in September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like a Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. No, I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Lisa. That's a very long name. And how could I forget Victoria Chase, rich stylist entitled? I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being a little crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria's secret wants life here to be like her own reality show. Blech. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being at back called Webulence. But this day was all in. What was Max? Incredible. We'll walk across the green campus in the morning mists. I love the stone steps and the brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking at least of... Why doesn't teacher realize that I'm actually reading a diary right in front of his lesson? Speaking of at least one of the great things that happened today, Mr. Jefferson's photography class. There's more to tell, Journal. Forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. <laughs> I'm about to be tired from reading in an accent. 
September 4th, I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least they're giving us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's got a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. And I at least need one to base click action here. I thought it was 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for at least some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but it is exactly what I want to study. Mr. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip. He uh, looks pretty hip to me, but just says what he thinks and expects us to do well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This is one of the classes, social dysfunction. Homework is kicking my ass and I bet the tea- Is she done yet? Oh my gosh. Mr. Grant is much cooler in the class. She's got a long diary. Holy cow. His family, Arcadia Bay, and heard stories when there was a kid. Prescott's give a shitload bank back while so Nathan was like literally on the score. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco. Oh, finally had the chance to take some actual shots. A perfect blue sky. I was always forget how great I feel after. Oh, it's her 18th birthday. Look at that. Let's see, the winner gets a trip to San Francisco and a lot of publicity. He wants one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell. And of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. I have at least a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to discuss and stress and procrastinate. Sigh. I don't know whether to love it or hate it here. I am just trying to keep with my science class of all things like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I am told Warren. Too bad I uh, cloned to him. Mr. Grant is much cooler in the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life unlike some of us in her class but I'm trying to engage more even if it means not much homework. Oh my god there's so much reading already. <sighs> Alright. Done with that reading. Um, all right, so good. Height of their beauty or innocence. <gasps> Teacher hasn't noticed I've been reading that book for the past hour. She could have taken Take another Take selfie? Look. I have to admit, Look I'm not a big photo. fan of her work. Camera? I prefer... I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Me Plus, too. it's perfect take for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Selfie quota. honesty about the economic conditions of the That's a scary thing, all right. Um, but a beauty in the struggle. Let's just look at it first. I do love my analog camera. Which I should take a quick picture now. That is a pretty hipster camera, if I do say and so myself. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Take well, a selfie. We've all seen that I... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. That teacher. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Google this, Max. Um, you either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. What a bitch! Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, <laughs> making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype um, self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Let's see. Let's take a look around. You can find out all about him. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Online. Uh-oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. What is Victoria doing? Trying to get in good with Mr. Hipster Victoria over there? doesn't waste a second kissing ass. I told you! I was very good at... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh, wow. 
So I'm assuming that is expensive. Oh my gosh. Wow. He's to get a photo, so. Five two GG. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Let's see. What is that? Photo. Rachel loves really Amber. Rachel Amber forever. Aw, that's cute. All right, so what about her notebook? Let's pry through this. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. She just, what is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Who's this? Um, Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh, wow. Hi, Max. Oh, that's hair if I ever did see one. I hope I didn't embarrass you. Katie, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Oh, okay, Kate. Um, you stay there with your hair. I'm just gonna call her hair girl for the time being. Let's look at this. What's going on here? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. So Blackwell is the academy that she's currently at to study photography, it looks, looks like. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hmm, this is a nice picture. Alright, so let's go see what Victoria's doing and how she's kissing ass and doing whatever she's doing. Let's look at Victoria. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. That's because you're just self-conscious. You gotta work this on that. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. Oh. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Just complain about it. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Ooh. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That was some inspirational stuff right there. That was so deep and inspir- Oh, let's look at this stuff. That was so deep and inspirational. You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's pretty creepy. I feel like that's a... I feel like that's very ominous. What about this camera? Should I explore this camera? Look at that camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. <laughs> he probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. What's Even this? in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Okay, we could just... Examine Man, everything. He even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. How, how we're gonna look at the to books watch. too? So cool that we can check these out anytime. All right, so let's just go a out the door. Decisive moment by Henry Cartier Bresson. That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. I um, of course do not remember. This is ridiculous. Thinking this get much. So shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson in school. Like, looking at things, I was not like, wow, this school is so expensive. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of her. The school. She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Yeah, I think I do too. Wash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. Don't Not Entertainment presents some fancy music. Montage time. Don't text and drive. Life is strange. Evan. Can we look at Evan? Oh, okay. Look at that! Hello! 
Halloween party coming up. Missing persons. Whoa, hey! I was trying to read that missing persons poster. Wow. Interesting. 19 years old. 555-388-6020. I have a feeling it's going to be important later on. There's so much we can look at. Holy cow, there's so much we can look at. What about this couple over here flirting? Juliet and Zachary. Oh, man, look at them. What if I just, like, stand close to them? They don't seem to mind. If I can just get over here with my music. What about another missing postings? Postings? Persons poster? Let's see. Missing from Arcadia Bay. Tattoo on calf and dragon star on the inside of left wrist. All right. So we've had a lot of introduction to... Wow, this is a lot of inner... Trevor. Trevor is... Doing Trevor things. Who's this girl? Who's this girl? Miss Grant. Hello, Miss Grant. <laughs> okay, so who goes up to somebody and just like kind of looks at them like like seriously and just kind of, you know, look at the janitor. I'm just gonna stand right behind the janitor while he's cleaning. Alright, so let's go grab our 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 what what, what do we need? So we, we know that everyone here has some kind of history. We we've already been here at uh at the school, at the school for photography for a while. There's a missing persons poster. Uh, we know we don't like Victoria. Victoria is like the preppy girl who tries to make us look bad in front of everybody. But I think we gotta go to the bathroom first. So let's go to the bathroom, if I could find it. It's kind of a shame. I've actually been at the school for quite a while and I can't find the bathroom even now. It's just a little disappointing. All right, so that, that's not the bathroom, obviously. Go Bigfoots! Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Got Alyssa. Locker. Open. Oh, open this locker. <gasps> Ooh. Kiss, kiss, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Can I go inside of everybody else's lockers too? Like the red ones? Can I... Okay, I guess I can't go inside of everybody else's lockers. Alright, so let's just find that freaking bathroom. There it is! I found it. I could spot it a mile away. There's no line here. This game's already unrealistic already. Open it. I'm digging this music Empty. Though. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. All right, mirror, faucet. Let's use a faucet. Use a faucet. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No! Don't do it! You use the timer perfectly! When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. There's a butterfly. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. <laughs> Take a picture of it. Fire bell. Hit that. Um, take a photo. Photo with square button. Stand still, butterfly. I'm gonna picture you so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. Uh oh. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. 
You don't know who the fuck I am wow. or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> no! Um... Whoa. What the fuck? Uh... How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. Uh-oh. From light to shadow. From color to... Now Kate is being hassled again. Perfect time for that mechanic and to kick in. phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example oh, of a Adam, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? No, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of Hold hopeless faces. L2 to you rewind. feel like totally haunted by the. Oh, look at that! I'm gonna get my camera back. Oh yeah! I did it. Can you give me I an actually did of a it. photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine? And white. Anybody? How did she just? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. I'm not reading that again. Well, no, it's too long. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted. When I took my selfie, herself. Jefferson asked me a question. She saw him if he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Kids call a. Selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. <gasps> and Max has a gift. Did I have to be paying attention? I know I'm not dreaming course, this. In the beginning? Know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can remains I save that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for... I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the I process know that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I have to use the bathroom was the answer. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Rewind! A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I I'm rewind going again? To use I can make my answers if you rewind. Alright, so let's rewind again. This is a really cool power. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm gonna show that bitch Victoria exactly who knows her stuff. I study too. Let's see. The uh -oh. Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from... Let's see. While holding rewind, hold R2 to rewind faster. There we go. Alright, so I guess I can go all the way back. Which is very interesting. Look at that. I killed myself. I rewound to... I have to... Uh, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Yep. Nice work, Max. <laughs> Take that, Victoria! The made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn can more when you actually now? finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. Okay, yes, we've Max, heard this. Will you I just kind of give everyone the little pep talk Max, about how they're going to be crazy, crazy good photographers? We're not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. <laughs> I like how she just took. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Sir. What was said? Even if you're submitting your photo for. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Ah! I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I can skip it. Um. I'm not avoiding. Just. Biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Good, because I'm not. Press L1 to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Um. All right. Let's see. Jefferson. I just worked so, so what hard exactly in the does shop, that and I'm do? Excuse me. What can I tell him different? Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars. Um, John Lennon said, I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once <laughs> said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. <laughs> Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Do you know how much of a- No, 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 I was good. I was good with that answer. I am good being a total jerk to everyone, just so I have all the right answers. I'm okay with this. Let's I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even- Photog- Okay, there's a lot. Okay, John Lennon said yes. I'm on top of it. I think- All right. Max, you're on fire today. I'm gonna skip that because I've already seen it. All right, so- we're on fire today. We're obviously <laughs> cheating at life. This is like a life hack to the max. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. life hack to the max. I, I can't just... tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. <laughs> I just, I'm just so done. I'm just so done. Hold R2 to move faster. No, wait, that's oh what? No, I'm gonna kill myself. Daniel, you remember that it's payday? All right, so let's go to the bathroom and save blue-haired girl. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Butterfly comes in. Butterfly effect. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Fire alarm, fire alarm. I know this is gonna come in handy. Don't come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir. So I need a hammer to break it open. Break it open. Me. You are going to get in hella more trouble. There it is, there's a the hammer. Drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse what time again, if I, I can no. help her. You are not affected by the rewind. I have to rewind now. All right. Okay, I see. I'm in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No, Move the cart. Move the cart. Get the get, Miss your hammer. punk ass, would they? Get that gun Do away I have the hammer already? On me. Oh, shit. Oh, she died. Or even Miss okay, your punk I got ass, this. would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. Um, this cannot be good. That did not happen. This cannot be real. This is a little I just freaky. saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. Thank you, I security. had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. 
Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Wow. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. How do they know Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Okay. Well. Shit, life is actually strange. <laughs> um, okay, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. A lot has gone on. I'm actually very interested to see where this goes. So thank you guys for joining me for episode one of episode one of Life is Strange. Until next time, guys, we're gonna find out what happens and see exactly what is going on with Max because she has some little cheatsy powers here for life. Take care, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.